Hi, my friends. Today I'm going to speak about the plasma apocalypse on Crater Earth. My intention was first to do a short decode about Messi, but when I start a decode, I never know where it is going to lead me to. So after adding lots of slides, I thought it would be better to call it Plasma Apocalypse, Messi, Barbie and Loki decoded. But I kept on discovering more links and more connections, so I finally changed it to this definitive title. So first of all, you can see the 666 on the M of Messi. And you will tell me this is the Masonic M. And this is right. But there is much more to this. The M is linked to Sulpicius Gallus M. That is a crater on the moon. This has to do with crater Earth. And this is the big secret. And this pink color that is being used in the advertising is the same pink used in the Barbie movie. And we can see more and more of this pink everywhere. And another interesting detail is that the last syllable, C, has an accent on the I. So it is mes, C. And C is yes in Spanish. And a mess is a reference to chaos. And you will see that the pink color is indeed related to chaos and to the storm. So his name means yes to chaos. And the C of Messi is even underlined. Here we have the Barbie colors. So we can see a dark pink, this fuchsia, and a light pink. Dark pink like the text, and the light pink like his outfit. Here we have it too, fuchsia and light pink. Now this really blew my mind. This is Barbie's house. And here we can see a pink flamingo. And guess what? Messi lives and plays in Miami, the city called the Pink City because of the flamingos. And here on the door we have the initials of Barbie. We have BB, that look like an 88. And I spoke about the 88 a lot in my video about Barbenheimer, linked to time travel and to the DeLorean car in Back to the Future. Here we can see a famous pink house in Miami. And here we have Miami at school and you can see the flamingos and we also have an octopus. And the octopus is a symbol of the Demiurge. And an octopus has eight legs. Remember this number eight because we are going to speak about it later. There are plenty of pink buildings in Miami. As I was looking for pictures of pink buildings in Miami to illustrate this presentation, I came across this. And this is very interesting. Apparently, a man called Cristo surrounded Miami Islands with pink. And it was 35 years ago. Well, 35 is the number of simulation. And Christo or Cristo is a very interesting name, of course, referring to the Christ. And the name Messi, of course, is linked to the word Messiah. So I just checked what value we have in Gematria for the Messiah, and we have 36 in Chaldean. And with 36 in Chaldean, we have Jesus Christ, and it makes sense that the Messiah indicates Jesus Christ. And we also have the Phoenix. So I have pointed out lately the connection between the Christ figure and the Phoenix. It is not a coincidence that Truman, played by Jim Carrey, initials JC, lives in House 36 
because he represents the Jesus Christ character, and 36 is 3 times 6, that makes the 666 that we have in the M of Messi. Now, Sulpicius Gallus M matching the Truman Show is not a coincidence. In the Truman Show, we have this Kaiser chicken advertisement, and we can see a rooster with a crown. Rooster in Spanish is gallo, and it's written G A L L O. And the element that shows a rooster in the periodic table is element gallium, and gallium is the 31st element. With 31 in Chaldean, we have der Mond, that means the moon in German, and the earth. So here it is very clear that the earth and the moon are the same thing. And another interesting detail is the red and orange color on the advertisement. So those colors, red and orange, are the colors of the phoenix. I noticed that the eyes of the Jesus character in I Pet Goat 2 have fire inside them and they look like the Lanthanum symbol. JC is 57 in Fibonacci and this is the number of Lanthanum. Jesus Christ is 36 in Chaldean matching the word Phoenix. So it makes sense that Truman, played by Jim Carrey, JC, lives in house 36. The image of element lanthanum represents a camera lens. The flames in the background reflect the ease with which the element burns when ignited. So this is a key sentence here. And it is not a coincidence that the atomic mass of lanthanum is 138. Because according to archaics, the Phoenix events are supposed to occur every 138 years. And this description of being ignited is repeated in the section of appearance. It says, it rapidly tarnishes in air and burns easily when ignited. So this element really represents the Phoenix. So let's go back to Barbie with the BB written on her house. That looks like an 88. 88 is a key number. I spoke a lot about it in my last posts on Facebook and in my last video about Barbenheimer. So 88 is linked to element radium and radium has the same root as radiation. And wow, now that I put together the images, I realize that the radium element has the Barbie colors and the messy colors. You see the same fuchsia color and the light pink, and the letters are written in black. So we have exactly those three colors. Isn't that amazing? The code is so subtle. I always find details that blow my mind. And radium also represents Ra. So on this picture, Messi is doing the X with his crossed arms. And the X corresponds to the number 10 in Roman ciphers. And he is wearing the number 10 t-shirt. Now the 10th towered card is the Wheel of Fortune. So here there is something very interesting. The X is a symbol of Osiris' reason, and it's also letter 24. And Jupiter's symbol looks like a 24. And also, inside the Wheel of Fortune, we can see a cross and a plus forming eight branches. So to me, this is the eight-pointed star, which is the star of chaos, and his name, Messi. Mess has to do with chaos. Another common point between Messi and Barbie is that Messi does the X. And here we have this symbol. And Truman's door also shows the X. 
this symbol here is also interesting. It's about the torus field, and it's all due to magnetism, as you can see here. So now let's go back to the Wheel of Fortune Towered Card and in German the wheel is das Rad and Rad is the beginning of radium and radiation. So it is very interesting that we have again this radium connection in the 88. And with 88 we have Phoenix in Greek ordinal. And in German, the word radiation is Die Strahlung. Die Strahlung is 138 in English ordinal, matching the atomic mass of element lanthanum, that is element 57, and we saw this element 57 before, connected to Sulpicius Gallus M and the Truman Show in Chaldean, and also to JC in Fibonacci. It is also the element related to the phoenix, because it burns when ignited. When you look at this Wheel of Fortune tarot card, we can see it is divided in eight parts that look like a pizza slice and also look like a slice of pie, which is what we see in Loki. So I think that the pie is the same symbolism that we have here on the Wheel of Fortune. And there are eight slices. And you know, eight is the shape of the infinity symbol that represents the hourglass. And eight branches is like the eight legs of Yaldabaoth, the octopus, and the spider. In the Truman Show, we can see the same pattern. Here is Christoph sitting on a chair that has the shape of an eight, the infinity eight. And we can see the same pattern as the Wheel of Fortune. But here we can only see the four slices in the part above and five branches. The other three branches must be below. Christoph is on the moon, so our Dom is also on the moon. I came across an old video from France Gall, a French singer, and the quality is very bad because it is a video from the 70s. But I was amazed because it confirms that there are four slices above and four below making a full circle, that there is a reality above and an upside-down reality reflected below. It is from a song from Franz Gall, and Gall is related to the element gallium, and we are back to this rooster symbolism and Sulpicius Gallus M. We also find this eight branches pattern and eight slices pattern in a rudder, and rudder is 23 in Chaldean, matching the words captain and anchor. So those three words refer to maritime law, and moon is 23 in Chaldean. So it is interesting that the moon is related to the maritime law. And the other interesting fact is that eight branches is 34 in Chaldean, and this matches element selenium, selenium that represents the moon. We have the moon symbol. It is very interesting to see that the Thunderdome in Mad Max is divided into eight parts. So what are they trying to show us here? Coming back to the Wheel of Fortune tarot card, I mentioned that those eight branches form the Chaos Star. The Chaos Star is 137 in English ordinal, and it matches God of Thunder and Lightning Dome. 
the chaos star is 43 in Chaldean, and this number is linked to the spider medicine card. So we have the eight legs of the spider and the eight branches of the chaos star. Eight-pointed star is 52 in Chaldean, matching element tellurium that represents the earth. And here we have something interesting. Star of Chaos is 125. And when you divide 1 by 8, you get 0 0.125. And that would be the slice of pizza or the slice of pie. 125 is another atomic mass of element tellurium. So we are indeed speaking about the Earth. The eight-pointed star is also depicted on the star tarot card, and it is card 17. The Earth is 17 in Chaldean. So this looks like a confirmation of the eight-pointed star representing the Earth. And with 17, we also have the words Eagle, Core, Tomb, Yorhivarhe, Joker, and Rose. The Eagle is the Phoenix, Core is the Heart. In many of my videos, I explained that the Earth is a heart, and this is why they are an anagram. Tomb, I always say that the Earth is the urn of the Phoenix. And the Joker, I have several videos about the Joker, and I always related it to the electromagnetic field of the Earth. So I just checked what words I had with 43 in Chaldean, and we have planet Earth. So this is the third confirmation that this chaos star is a representation of the Earth. We also have Prison Earth, Technology, this is showing that this is a machine, Mind Upload, The Heartbeat, this is the, the pulse of the Earth, Truman Show, Memory Wipe, The Snake Pit, The Rising Sun, this is the Phoenix, and this explains why we have fire in the background of this picture, Death Machine, when the phoenix rises, it destroys a big part of Earth, Lucifer Trap, and Taurus Field. In the Cards of Illumination, card 43 is the Four of Spades, and its equivalent in the Tarot is the Four of Swords. So here I have put three different Four of Swords cards that I have found on the Internet. In the Tarot of Thought, we can see an X. It's very interesting. This is showing us that the X is not only linked to Osiris' reason, but it is also linked to chaos. The second is the most common version, and basically it shows death. And the third one shows the eight-pointed star. So once again, the cards are very accurate to illustrate what we have in Gematria. This pattern with eight slices is also represented on the logo of the Umbrella Corporation in Resident Evil. Umbrella Corporation is 73 in Chaldean matching your own television. The sentence that Christoph said to Truman in The Truman Show. And your own television is 243 in English ordinal matching frequency prison grid. Resident Evil is 142 in English ordinal matching the octopus. The octopus is a symbol of the demiurge, Yaldabaoth, and octopus means eight legs. With 142, we also have Queen of Cups, and you will see that it is related to Barbie. And here we have another interesting fact that cannot be a coincidence. Eight octopus tentacles matches eight-pointed star of chaos in English ordinal with 216. And 216 is 666. Six, six.
And the second interesting fact is that Queen of Cups is 57 in Chaldean, matching Solpicius Gallus M and the Truman Show. So it all makes sense now. Everything is tied together. The umbrella is the octopus, eight legs, eight branches, the star of chaos, and the Queen of Cups is linked to the Truman Show. Now we can see some logics with this sentence you're on television. Now looking at the eight-pointed star, the center of this picture reminded me of the black hole. And also I came across this information. Apparently there is a Warhammer's book that speaks about this star of chaos, the eight-pointed star, and it says, like so much, Warhammer's conception of chaos, the eight-arrowed symbol of chaos, derives from Michael Moorcock's writing. So, interestingly enough, the title of the book is Stormbringer, and it's all about the storm under the Thunderdome. Everything has to do with the storm and lightning. So it says, the sign of chaos flashed on their sails, eight amber arrows radiating from a central hub. So yes, the hub is a central part of a wheel, and it is also an expression used for computers. So of course, when I thought about the black hole, I thought about the black sun. The black sun in French is le soleil noir, and out of curiosity or intuition, I just googled le soleil noir, and to my surprise, I saw this. A French singer called Barbara, who was very famous in the 70s, had a record. Le soleil noir was the title of an album. She was very famous for a song she did called L'Aigle Noir, that means the black eagle. And we know that the eagle is the phoenix. Barbie is a diminutive of Barbara. And we will see that Barbara has everything to do with lightning. Another incredible fact is that Barbara is 43 in English original. So the name Barbara is linked to the spider medicine card and to these four of swords that are linked to the chaos star. And apparently the chaos star has to do with the black sun. When I saw this hand sign in the video, it caught my attention. And this is because it reminded me of Barbie doing the same hand sign pointing up to the sky. What are the odds of Barbara pointing up to the sky in 1970 and Barbie doing it in 2023? To me, pointing up like this is related to the phoenix rising. And look who else is pointing his fingers up to the sky. Actually, I'm finding so many pictures that I see that this is a very characteristic sign of him and a lot of marketing has been made around it. We can see that he's been doing it for many years.
According to Wikipedia, he does this in dedication to his grandmother. Well, that's the official explanation. But there must be something else behind this. Now, wait a moment. I've seen someone else doing this. Here is another one. And another one. And more pictures. He really seems to like this sign. He does it all the time, apparently. We just saw that he makes the same sign as Barbie. But you will ask me, what does he have to do with Messi? Well, at the beginning of this presentation, we saw that Messi was coded like the Messiah. And many people out there believe that Trump is the Messiah. Actually, if you write on Google, Trump Messiah, or Trump the Messiah, you will have over 7 million comments about it. So that's quite a lot. I just put those two here. And here we have the sentence he said, I am the only one. I was not planning to decode him, but I just wrote his name. And to my surprise, we have 138 in English ordinal. And this is the atomic mass of element lanthanum that represents the phoenix event, the lens that is our dome setting on fire. And if you remember, we had the Messiah, Phoenix, and Jesus Christ being the same number. And now we have Donald Trump being 138, matching lanthanum, that is to me the phoenix element, so he is definitely coded as the Phoenix and the Messiah. That seem to be the same thing. So people waiting for the Messiah are in fact waiting for the Phoenix event to come. Religions have twisted everything. And here he is with the Phoenix symbolism. Now I wanted to check the value of I am the only one. And we have another huge number, that is number 156 in English ordinal. Why is that number important? Because it is the number of the Thunderbird, that is the Phoenix, and it also matches the sentence, Now I am become deaf. The famous Oppenheimer sentence. This sentence pronounced by Oppenheimer was made famous by the movie. The Oppenheimer movie that came out the same day as Barbie. Check my decode video about Barbenheimer if you haven't watched it yet. The number 156 is indeed linked to this sentence. If you just write the first part of the sentence, now I am become deaf, is 156 in English ordinal, and the full sentence, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, is 156 in Chaldean. 156 also has to do with the thunderbird that is the phoenix. So the phoenix is the destroyer of worlds. So it is not a coincidence that Truman Burbank is also 156, as this character is also coded with the Phoenix Messiah JC symbolism. So as Truman has a similar code to Trump, I suddenly noticed that him too points his index finger. And this is Jupiter finger. One hundred and fifty six is linked to nine eleven because nine eleven is the hundred and fifty sixth prime number with nine hundred and eleven in satanic cipher. We have the question, who is the fire starter? 
So obviously this question is linked to the phoenix. And we also have what is Anuit Coeptis. And in Fibonacci, we have le dieu du tonnerre, that means the god of thunder in French. And in Satanic, we also have the matrix code system. And what is Anuit Coeptis matches the matrix code system in 12 different ciphers. So there is a lot of information here. Number one, fire starter. Number two, Anuit Coeptis. Number three, the god of thunder or gods, because there are many thunder gods with different names. And now you can see a picture of the Chaos Star on the left, and it is interesting that they put fire in the background. And this picture reminded me of the fire in the Saint Sulpice Church in Paris, and that the fire was just in the front part where this round stained glass window is. And this stained glass window has the same pattern that we saw at the beginning with the eight slices. And Saint Sulpice refers to Sulpicius Gallus M. And it's not a coincidence that there was a fire here on this special location because it represents our crater on fire, of course, because of the Phoenix event. So this fire was just a precursor event showing what is going to happen. This statue here, I had not paid attention to it, but now this arm pointing up catches my attention. I'm going to make a close-up. So I made the close-up, but the quality of the picture was not very good. So I googled statues in Saint-Sulpice and I found this one that I think must be inside the church. And to my surprise, we have this Jupiter finger pointing sign. And it is a picture of Saint Jean Baptiste, John the Baptist. Saint John the Baptist is a high Renaissance oil painting on walnut wood by Leonardo da Vinci. So it is not a coincidence that it is related to this church of Saint Sulpice in France and also that this church appeared in the Da Vinci Code movie. The Da Vinci Code is what runs this reality. Here is a cathedral in the city of Lyon that is dedicated to Saint John the Baptist and you can see that this statue as well is pointing upwards with the Jupiter finger. And here we have two other cathedrals in France, one in Saint-Étienne and one in the north of France. And both statues of John the Baptist show the same hand sign. John the Baptist announced the coming of Jesus Christ, and he said, One was coming who would baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. The Catholic Church, as well as the Anglican and Lutheran calendars, placed the feast of the Nativity of John the Baptist on June 24. And by the way, I was also born on June 24. So I don't think it is a coincidence that I come across all this information and I also announce the return of the phoenix. As you can see, Saint John the Baptist has everything to do with fire. I remember that this celebration in the south of France was really a big deal. People would light bonfires at night and then jump over those fires. Now, the fact that the celebration of his birth is on the 24 brings us back to the letter X. And we saw that Jupiter's symbol looks like a 24. And St. John does this Jupiter hand sign. I don't think this is a coincidence. 
it is interesting to see that several places in the world that have Saint John in their name suffered fire. So I don't know if it is the elite doing rituals or if it is just a script showing on micro events what will come later on a larger scale. So let's go back to the 24 and the symbol of Jupiter. Jupiter, also called Jupiter in Latin and also Jove, is the main god of the Roman mythology, the father of gods and men, Patodiorum et Ominum. And in the Greek mythology, he was known as Zeus. And he is represented by the eagle, the thunderbolt, and the scepter. Here you can see that Jupiter is a thunder god. Many sites speak about it. Britannica refers to him as the Roman god of thunder and sky. The second site here, Jupiter is the god of sky and thunder. This one here above, I think it is from Wikipedia, also tells us that Jupiter is the god of the sky and thunder. And this detail here is very important. His identifying implement is the thunderbolt and his primary sacred animal is the eagle. This other definition is also very interesting. It gives us the root dieu that means bright. And dieu in French means God. And it also says one of his most ancient epithets is Lucetius which means light bringer, so he is also Lucifer. In the Truman Show, they show the eagle symbolism twice, and in this particular scene, this is Truman's boat with an eagle on the bow, and his boat is struck by lightning sent by Christoph. The phoenix is often represented by an eagle, and in the Truman Show, we have the eagle symbolism in Truman's basement, and the basement is a symbol of the underworld. So it is clear that the god of thunder, linked to number 911, is Jupiter. All those gods you can see in red are gods of thunder, Tlaloc, Kosiho, Atxin, Tsawi, Ilapa, Chak, that was for America. The Vikings had Thor, Donar, Woden, Perun, Perkunas, and Perkons. In Greece there was Zeus, Indra in India, and in Africa there is Shango. And this one is very interesting because it is linked to Barbie. Caribbean practitioners of the Yoruba traditions from Africa use Saint Barbara as a stand-in for Shango. Images of Shango in Africa are shown with a thunderbolt over the head. Saint Barbara is represented with a cup in one hand. She's wearing a crown and we can see lightning striking a tower in the background. So she's linked to two different tarot cards, the Queen of Cups and the Tower. You can see that in the Tower tarot card, there is a crown on top of the tower, and the tower looks exactly like the crown she's wearing. And the tower is struck by a flash of lightning. And the Queen of Cups is really obvious. She's wearing a crown, so this is telling us that she is a queen and she's holding a cup in her hand. This is exactly what we see on the Queen of Cups tarot card. The Queen of Cups in the tarot is the equivalent of the Queen of Hearts in the cards of illumination. 
So does Barbie in the movie represent Saint Barbara? Well, there sure is a lot of hard symbolism everywhere. So yes, she represents the Queen of Cups, that is the Queen of Hearts. Here on this picture, for example, she's wearing a necklace with a heart. And heart is an anagram of Earth, as I have explained in my video about heart-shaped box. Barbie Land has the shape of a heart because it represents the Earth. This represents the electromagnetic pulse of the Earth, that is the Schumann resonance, and it is caused by thunder. So it is logical that we have Barbie here because she represents Saint Barbara, who represents thunder. And here we have the two flamingos, and we saw that in Messi's t-shirt with the emblem of Miami. Very inventive logo indeed, with the M formed with the legs of the flamingos. And here we have Barbie with her heart necklace and a shell motif in the background. And this is what we have on the Queen of Cups card. And I found this detail amazing. And actually there is a lot of seashell symbolism in the whole movie. And this is linked to Venus. So here we have a statue of Saint John. And we can see this shell symbolism. And the other picture here is from a stained glass window in Saint Sulpice Church in Paris. So Barbie is definitely linked to this John the Baptist. And another link to St. Barbara is this car with this lightning bolt. This picture here really blew my mind. I had taken it because it represents the plasma volcano. But now, after having decoded John the Baptist, I can really see that the Barbie movie is all about the plasma apocalypse. So here again we can see the link between Barbie and John the Baptist. The bonfire that we just saw represents a volcano. And this has to do with the Phoenix event, so here is a reminder that Barbie represents the Queen of Cups, that is the Queen of Hearts, and in Chaldean we have 57 for Queen of Cups, matching Solpicius Gallus M, that is a crater on the Moon. So element 57 is Lanthanum, in which we can see the fire igniting under a lens. And if it's a crater, Craters are on volcanoes, right? We saw that Barbara was represented by the Queen of Cups tarot card, and this is card 48 in the deck. With 48 in Chaldean, we have Deus Ex Machina and the Crater Earth. And we just talked about the volcano on Crater Earth, and the other card representing Saint Barbara is the Tower card. Well, the Tower card is 48 in Chaldean too, and it's not a coincidence that both cards representing Saint Barbara have the same number. Deus Ex Machina 
is 127 in English ordinal matching the atomic mass of element tellurium that represents the Earth. So here again we have a confirmation that the Earth is a machine. Now let's go back to those gods of thunder and especially Jupiter. It is interesting to see that the Jupiter and the Shango representation is very similar, holding a thunderbolt. Here we have a list of names of Jupiter. The first one, Jupiter Fulger, means the one holding the thunderbolt. And the second, Jupiter Fulgurator, means of the strike of lightning. This one, Jupiter Imperator, is also interesting. Imperator, that means Supreme Commander, sounds like Emperor. Then Jupiter Terminus, that reminds us of the Terminator, right? And Predator is very telling too. And Jupiter Victor and Jupiter Triumphator explain why so many brands are named with Victor or Victoria and Triumph also. Then we have the Ark of Triumph. And the last one, Jupiter Sumanus, that means the one that sends the night thunder. Interesting name, why the night thunder? Jupiter Pater Diorum et Ominum is 353 in English ordinal. And this is the 71st prime number. And this matches element Lutetium that represents the city of Lutetia. Lutetia was a Gallo-Roman town and predecessor of modern Paris. Paris was built on the ruins of Lutetia, and it was built by a Gallic tribe. Words starting by G-A-L-L -L are a reference to Sulpicius Gallus. So this is not a coincidence that one of the emblems of Saint-Sulpice has the same picture. With 71 in Chaldean, we have the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Cups. So this element, Lutetium, linked to Saint-Sulpice, has to do with Barbara, who is the Queen of Cups. And Lutetia in Chaldean is 24. And we saw that the 24th letter of the alphabet is the X. So we are back to this Wheel of Fortune and the Star of Chaos. Here we have another layer, because the Queen of Cups is 175 in English ordinal, and this is one of the atomic masses of element Lutetium. With 175 in English ordinal, we have Plasma Apocalypse, Thunderstorm, and A Storm is Coming. Now we can understand better why Trump, who does the Jupiter finger sign, said there's a storm coming. The Queen of Hearts is 187 in English ordinal matching the goddess Venus and the star of Ishtar. And if you put the star of Ishtar in Google, you will find this picture. And what do we see here? The eight-pointed star. So once again, we have the confirmation that Barbie, the Queen of Hearts, or the Queen of Cups, is linked to the Star of Chaos, also called the Star of Ishtar, or the Star of Inanna. Look at this. The Star of Inanna is 57 in Chaldean, so you see the code never contradicts itself. The Star of Inanna, 57 in Chaldean, matching Queen of Cups and Sulpicius Gallus M. And in English ordinal, the Star of Inanna matches Plasma Generator. So interesting. So this seems to be a mechanism to generate plasma. So incredible. So I watched quite a few videos about Saint-Sulpice looking for pictures 
wanting to know how it was inside, to see if I would find some interesting iconography or some interesting detail. And look what I just found. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. Ce qui est sûr, c'est qu'en dessous de cette église subsistent les vestiges d'une petite église de campagne qui avait été construite au milieu des champs à l'usage des paysans et des ouvriers qui travaillaient à l'abbaye de Saint-Germain juste à côté. So under Saint-Sulpice Church, there was another church dedicated to Saint Barbara. Amazing. So this confirmed everything that was decoded in this video. So now I checked the French Wikipedia and we can see that Saint Barbe is the same as Saint Barbara, Barbar, which means barbarian. And what is interesting too is that she lived in Phoenicia. Phoenicia is linked to the Phoenix and she was from Heliopolis the city of the sun of Helios. And when you ask the question, who is Saint Barbara in French, qui est Sainte Barbe, we have 187 in English ordinal, matching the Queen of Hearts. So once again, the code confirms that Saint Barbara is the Queen of Hearts and also the goddess Venus. This is why we have the shell symbolism in Barbie. Then we have what is the DeLorean. And if you watched my second video on my Patreon about Barbenheimer, you will know that the DeLorean represents the Earth struck by thunder. And the DeLorean is a nuclear reactor that we also have with 187 in English ordinal. We also have toroidal solenoid and the star of Ishtar, which is this eight-pointed star we've spoken about during this video. So everything came together. Sainte Barbe is 31 in Chaldean, matching the earth, the eagle, and thunder. And we know Saint Barbara is all about the thunderbolt. And 31 is linked to gallium. That represents Sulpicius Gallus, as I explained before, when you see G-A-L-L. -L. And this element has the symbol of the rooster. Thirty-one appears at the 137th digit of pi. 137 is very important because it is the fine structure constant. And we saw before that with 137, we have God of Thunder, the Chaos Star, and Lightning Dome. And we just saw in French that Sainte Barbe was linked to the star of Ishtar, that is the star of Chaos. 137 is also the atomic mass of element barium. It is interesting that barium has the Barbie colors too. And the first three letters are Bar, the beginning of Barbara. As we have the chapel of Saint Barbara under the church of Saint Sulpice in Paris, I found this place in France called Barberet Saint Sulpice. So you can see again here the link between Saint Barbara and Saint-Sulpice. Here we can see a celebration of Saint Barbara and we can observe that they use this pink magenta Barbie color. So why is Barbie associated with pink? The code indicates that it couldn't be another color. Pink is 16 in Chaldean, matching the Tower Tarot card that represents Saint Barbara. Here you can see a picture from a video game called Hero Wars, and there is an event called the Great Storm. And as you can see, we have this pink color. And we can also see that the logo of Hero Wars 
is the eight-pointed star, and where the game takes place is called Dominium. When it starts, we see this. Here we can see this reptilian eye, and we also see it here in the hand. The fingers might represent plasma, and this elf here has horns. And I don't know you, but it reminds me of Loki. This eye here probably represents the dome and the opening through which plasma will come inside our world. Now to enter the event, we have this spinning pink wheel here with lightning. So I took a picture twice, the first time, 2.22, and the second one, 7 hours and 41 minutes, this bloody Lucifer number showing up every day. So anyway, this looks like a plasma generator to me. And when you enter the event, this is what you see. It looks like the black sun, and it is emitting this pink light. And it has number 57, and it is linked to 56 other positions that have to be destroyed in the game before attacking this one. And it's definitely not a coincidence that we have 57, because it is linked to Sulpicius Gallus M, the Truman Show, the Queen of Cups, the Star of Ishtar, the Queen of Cups representing Barbie. And here they give us this explanation that this storm is caused by the leader of the forces of chaos. So obviously this has to do with the star of chaos. And apart from the event, what is used to upgrade the pets are particles of chaos, and they have this fuchsia magenta pink color. And in this part of the game, we can see plasma tentacles. So in this game, it is clear that pink is linked to the storm, lightning, and chaos. And the tentacles are about the plasma apocalypse. This magenta color is being used more and more and everywhere. This is, for example, Mexico City. This is Tomorrowland Reflection of Love in Brazil. Here we have an advertisement from Duracell. This t-shirt from Lucky 2 caught my attention because it reminded me of the Barbenheimer t-shirts. So to me, those three t-shirts you can see here. This one from Lucky 2, saying we're all gonna die. This one from Barbenheimer, and hundreds of different Barbenheimer t-shirts. You can see some in my Barbenheimer decode. And this t-shirt from Messi are giving the exact same message. And it amazes me when I see people wearing those t-shirts, and they don't have a clue that they are celebrating their demise. In the Barbie movie, she asked, Do you guys ever think about dying? And Barbie is 13 in Chaldean, matching the death tarot card. Loki is also 13 in Chaldean, hence he also has to do with death. Even if this sentence was not pronounced by Loki himself, this message is in the series, we are gonna die. Loki is 138 in primes, and this is the atomic mass of this elemental anthanum that I've spoken about before, also linked to the initials JC, that is 57 in Fibonacci. With 138 in Chaldean, we have 
I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. On this door, we can see the X symbolism, and this is letter 24, and it also forms the eight pointed star, and this picture looks like the Union Jack, the Jack being the hijacker. On this picture, you can see that Messi won eight Ballon d'Or trophies, and in this event, we see the word infinity that corresponds to number eight. And here you can see him with two trophies that have the shape of the infinity symbol, or the hourglass that is the same. And he has two different ones, forming 88. And with 88 we have the Sulpicius Gallus M crater, also matching element radium that we saw before, linked to radiation. So this is another similarity that he has with Barbie dressed in pink and with this 88 shape and we saw it with Barbie with the BB that look like two eights. We can also see this infinity symbol in Loki here and here with the shape of an hourglass. Time Variance Authority is 257 in English Ordinal matching the electromagnetic discharge. Interesting. And 257 is the 55th prime number. In Chaldean with 55, we have simulation dome, the earth machine, the storm is here, secret destroyer, and infinite time loop, which is what we see here. And 55 is the 10th Fibonacci and triangular number. So we are back to the 10 and the X. 55 matches element cesium, and the symbol could represent the black sun. Messi is 16 in Chaldean, matching the word pink. And 16, of course, is the number of the tower card in the tarot, as we've seen before. And we also saw that this card was linked to Saint Barbara. This is why there are so many analogies between Messi and Barbie. Now the number 10, apart from being linked to the 10th tarot card, represented by the Roman cipher 10 that is an X, also represents the binary system of the matrix. And Messi in Fibonacci is 314, the number of Pi, and his name matches Hell, both in Fibonacci and Chaldean. Lionel Messi is 40 in Chaldean. The card number 40 in the Cards of Illumination is the Ace of Spades. And in the Tarot, its equivalent is the Ace of Swords. And to me, this card represents the blue beam shooting up the sky during the Phoenix event. I also see a similarity with the Jupiter finger pointing up. The name Lionel contains lion and L, the god L, and it also sometimes represents Jupiter, as you can see here in Jupiter's temple, and it is also Inanna's most prominent symbol together with the eight-pointed star. With 40 in Chaldean, we have Time Prison, Da Vinci Code, Thunderbird, that is the Phoenix, Plasma Dome, and Moon Crater. And we also have Apocalypse. About the Da Vinci Code, I've always said that it was a code to conquer, and it has to do with victory. So Jupiter Victor that we saw before makes sense. I digress a little, but I think that the horns of Loki look like the horns of Inanna. Sometimes Lionel Messi is called Leo Messi. Leo is connected to Leonardo. And of course, Leonardo da Vinci, 
linked to the Da Vinci Code, and we saw that Lionel Messi was 40 in Chaldean matching Da Vinci Code. Now, Leo Messi is 31 in Chaldean matching element gallium, and we saw this element linked to Sulpicius Gallus M, with the four letters being G-A-L-L, and the symbol of the rooster. Now, with 31 in Chaldean, we have the earth, the core, the eagle, and we saw that the eagle was a symbol of Jupiter, and it is the symbol that is omnipresent in the world. It was a symbol of Rome. Then we have the god Ra, the sun Ra, thunder, and we saw Jupiter as a thunder god, light trap, serial killer, and system bug. Serial killer because the phoenix event, when it comes, is the destroyer of worlds. Now, because of all the connections I found with Jupiter, I decided to write Messy Jupiter, and what was my surprise to find this? In 2014, apparently, a trainer from Nigeria said that Lionel Messi was from Jupiter. How about that? And now I just found something else that really, really blew my mind. Messi was born on June 24th, 1987. So I can't believe that because everything we've been seeing in this decode is connected. All the gesture he's doing, his name. He was born on St. John the Baptist Day. And the 24 looks like the Jupiter symbol. And his name is Lionel, called Leo, like Leonardo da Vinci, who painted John the Baptist. And I am reading now that one of his nicknames is the Messiah. And it's amazing to me to be finding all these things, because I was born on June 24 too. But I never did this finger pointing, so... I wonder if he is aware of his code, or if there are people above him that made up his history, telling him to do all these gestures, or if it is just a matrix scenario written by a quantum computer. What do you think? Now, earlier in this video, we saw that who is the fire starter, what is Anuit Coeptis, and also the matrix code system, those expressions that are 911 in Satanic, are 246 in English Ordinal. And we can see this as the 24th of June. And the second part of this video will speak about Anuit Coeptis and the fire starter. So that was quite a long video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye. If you like the content of this channel, please consider becoming a Patreon or supporting my work with PayPal. Decoding and investigating is indeed a full-time job and you have no idea the amount of work there is behind to make a video like this one you just watched.